Hi everyone and welcome to Crochet Tutorials. In this video we're going to be having a look at these lovely little beginners crochet flowers. They're a fantastic little project for someone who's new to crochet. Rather than crocheting in a row, this will teach you how to crochet into a ring, which a lot of your work will actually be done in. Um, and also it'll give you practice with those basic stitches. You can see that I've got two different sizes here. The one that's made um, in double crochet or treble crochet in the UK. And this one is made with treble crochet or double treble crochet in the UK. So the only difference is the stitch that I've used. It's using the same yarn, um, but of course there's a different size because of that stitch difference, which if you're new to crochet, this gives you a really good idea of the difference in the height of those particular stitches. All right, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need obviously is our yarn and our hook. For this, you will need a little pair of scissors and a needle to work your ends in. Um, the yarn I'm using is actually a worsted weight yarn, so it's not an 8 ply, it's about a 10 ply, and it's a nice thick yarn, which is really, really great to use when you're new. It's not so fiddly as the 8 plies or the baby weight yarns, the, the 4 plies and the like. So this is a great yarn to start with, a worsted weight yarn. Or an Aran, they also can be called Aran yarns. The first thing we need to do is make a slip knot. So we hold the tail across our fingers and just wrap that around our fingers and then tuck this working part of the yarn underneath that to make that little U shape and then pull that through while we're taking our fingers out. And we've got our slip knot. Pop the hook in, pull on the working end and you're good to go. So with these uh, flowers, that's what they're called, um, we're going to crochet a chain, a ring of six. So all we need to do is chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you need assistance with any of these stitches, I will put a link to my beginner's video, which shows chaining, double crochet, single crochet, and half double crochet in the description box. But for this one, we've got a chain of six. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six chains. Of course, the loop on your hook doesn't count. So then you just need to slip stitch into the first chain. And that is just by putting your hook into that chain, grabbing the yarn, pulling it through, and then pulling it through that loop on your hook. And then you have this nice little space here in which to crochet. So from here, all of our stitches are going to go into this ring. And it looks quite small, but it actually will become bigger the more stitches you put in. You can see that all of these stitches are heading into that circle. So first we'll do, we'll make this one, which is the one made with double crochet. So for double crochet, we need to chain up three, one, two, three, and then yarn over, go into the ring, not into this little space here that your slip stitch made, but into this space below where the ring is. Into the ring, yarn over, bring up the yarn, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So we're going to do that two more times for this petal. So yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over again, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So this chain does actually count as a double crochet, this chain here. So when at the moment we've got three, we need five, so we're going to double crochet again, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. For our fifth double crochet in this petal, what we need to do is get back down to the level of the ring. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit further. We need to get down to this level. So actually what we're going to do is chain three again. One, two, three. And then we're going to come down here and just slip stitch again. So remember the slip stitch is just into the ring, grab that yarn, bring it through, and then bring it through that loop on your hook. And that is your first petal. So try when you're crocheting, you'll always have this tail. And of course, your tails need to be worked into your work at some stage. That is what Mr. Darning Needles for. So it's really handy if you lay that tail around with your ring. So you just hold it with the ring and crochet over it the way you are the ring. And then you don't have to work in as much. So again, we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. And double crochet into the ring. And yarn over. Go into the ring. Yarn over. Pull up. A loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. And again, double crochet into the ring, yarn over, go into the ring, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's our three. We need five, remember, so we're going to double crochet into the ring again, yarn over, into the ring, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That is our three double crochets. So our last one needs to take us down to the level of the ring. So we're going to chain three again and slip stitch into that ring. So we're going to bring the yarn through and just pull it through the loop on the hook. And it really helps if you kind of move everything over, but you can see that hole is even bigger than it was when we first started. So there'll be plenty of room. Again, we need five petals in total. So we're going to chain three again, and then double crochet three times into the ring in the middle. So yarn over, go into the ring, Yarn over and pull up that loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again, yarn over, into the ring. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. That's two. Yarn over, into the ring. Yarn over, pull up that loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, oh, and pull through two. Sorry about that. And of course we need to chain those three again to get us back to the level of the ring. So you can see that there is, oh, my tail's being a bit pesky. You can see that there is still a little bit of room there. It might get a bit squishy, but it's okay. We're going to chain up three again for the next petal and three double crochets one two three double crochets into that ring so yarn over into the ring yarn over pull up a loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two yarn over into the ring yarn over pull up that loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then one more double crochet yarn over into the ring yarn over pull up that loop yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then chain our three again and slip stitch into the ring so this that is our fourth Get out of the way, tail. 
You're being quite pesky. Off you pop. This that, that is our fourth petal. And I mean you can see on this one that they kind of overlap anyway. So it's no big deal. We are going to have enough room. Um, the final petal. Chain three. And three double crochets once again. So yarn over into the ring. Yarn over, pull up that loop. Three loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And then we need to do that two more times. So pull through two and pull through two. And one more time. Yarn over into the ring. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And make our final slip stitch to hold that petal down right there. When you want to tie off, all you really need to do is yarn over and pull straight through that loop. And then pull up a bit of yarn. You don't need a heap, but you do need it to be longer than your needle. And just cut that yarn. Pull your working yarn out, off your pop you can go, and pull that tight. And then I just need a little bit of manipulation and all your petals sit perfectly where they need to be. And that, well there's a tail, that is your flower. So then what we would do is we've already worked this yarn in with the stitches so we can just cut him off. This one though needs to be worked in. So take your needle and just put the thread through. Oh, of course it's going to do that. Put the thread through the needle. And why are you being difficult? There we go. And just what I tend to do is just run around these stitches here. So just go in and push your needle through a few of those stitches that's heaps bring the yarn through and see how we've come out in this point here we don't want to go back in there we want to just go beyond that so the yarn will actually grab onto these stitches here so go in there and come out a little bit in front of where you went in and then do that same thing again don't go back into that but go a little bit in front of it and come out just before you went in before and that if you go backwards and forwards like that that will not come out cut him off and that is your flower hang on i'll get it in the center so it looks quite red to me on the camera at the moment but it is i can assure you it's a hot pink i guess it doesn't matter what color it is you can make it whatever color you like that is the double crochet i'll be back in just a second for the one with the treble crochet okay so the double crochet flower the process for the treble crochet is exactly the same what we're going to do is again make that slip knot so wrap it around your fingers pop it underneath that grab the little u take your fingers out and there's your slip knot pop it on the hook pull on your working end and that's good to go so with the uh treble crochet we're going to do the same thing we're going to chain up six one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first chain there. So just go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through that loop, and pull through the loop on your hook. So this is the space where we need to crochet. None of these odd holes here. They 
will disappear once we've done it, but this is the space we need to crochet in. So for the, the treble crochet, it we will need to chain up four. The treble crochet is called the double treble in the UK, um, but we'll need to chain up four. It's exactly the same stitch, just different terminology. So one, two, three, four. Because it's a larger stitch, it actually requires an extra set of pull through two. So we're going to yarn over twice. Just wrap your yarn around the hook like that. So just wrap it and then wrap it. Hang on to that and bring it in and pull up a loop the way you would with a double crochet. But you've got four loops on the hook there. You're going to yarn over and pull through two. Three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over, pull through two. And then finally, yarn over and pull through two. And that is a treble crochet. So again, I'll just zoom in a bit. Again, we're going to yarn over twice and into the centre, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two of those loops, yarn over again, pull through two of the loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So we need one more treble crochet before we can finish with our chain. So we're going to yarn over twice into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That is the last portion of that petal. Well, the last treble crochet anyway for that particular petal. So we're going to need to get to the level of the ring again. So we'll chain four, one, two, three, four, and slip stitch that to the ring. That is our first petal. So for our second petal, the process is exactly the same. And for all of our petals, the process is the same. Chaining up four. Anytime you need to do the treble crochets, if you have to chain to the height of that stitch, it's chain four. With double crochets, it's chain three. Sometimes people um, suggest chain two is actually tighter for a double crochet, but generally we chain three for that. Yarn over twice, into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. We're going to do another treble crochet. We need two more for this petal. Um, so we've got our yarn over twice, into the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Each petal in both of these has a chain, three of the stitch and then the chain back down to the ring. Yarn over twice into the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We've done our three trebles, so we need to chain one, two, three, four, and slip stitch that into the ring. All right, so I'll let you continue. We need three more petals, a chain four, three treble crochets, and another chain four slip stitched into the ring. We need three more of those in this ring. You'll have plenty of room if you just keep scooching them over and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so I'm here and I'm just about to complete my fifth petal. I've got my chain four, my two trebles, and I need to do my last treble and my last chain four. So we're yarning over twice, going into the ring, yarn over, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. If you need to rewind this, obviously feel free to do so. Um, but I do think that this is 
really something that you can master um, just with a little bit of practice. And then we need to chain four, two, three, four, and slip stitch back down to the level of that ring. And that is our flower. Now, remember, we just need to yarn over and pull through that loop and pull up a decent tail to weave in, cut it off. And all we do is pull on that to tighten it. Flatten out Mr. Flower a little bit. And there he goes. So this is the original uh, this is the original tail from the slip stitch. It's already worked in to the the ring when we crocheted over it. All we need to do is what's the word I'm looking for? Weave this end in. So you get your needle, thread that needle, and come down into these straight pieces of the stitch down at the bottom near the ring. Go through a few. I like to go through, I don't know, seven or eight. Pull the yarn all the way through. No, hang on, my end isn't coming with me. There we go. Um, and don't go back into this place where we're coming out, but just before it, and come out just before where we originally went in. And then one last time, go in and out. And that will hold beautifully. So these are probably not um, embellishment flowers that, you know, they're probably not something that you'd look at putting on a hat or anything, um, simply because of that. You could, obviously, but um, there are prettier flowers, which I'll show you in the next video. These are just practice flowers for you. And once you've got these down pat and your flower, you know, looks reasonable, then you can definitely move on. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you join me again. All right, see you next time.